Hi guys, welcome to Architects Learnings. This is Vignesh. Hope you are all doing good. In our last video, we have seen what is component, what are the types are there, those things. In that video, if you see that most of the components require data. In this video, we will see three ways to add data in Grasshopper. So let's see the three types. Local settings, wired connection, setting from Rhino. So let's see one by one. Local setting. Let's see with an example. I am taking the common and construct point. If you see, once I bring the common to the canvas, it made preview in the right. Why? Because it has the default value of x coordinate 0, 0, 0. So it made the preview. I can change this value by right clicking on the x coordinate set number give let's say 10 commit changes y coordinate 10 z coordinate 10 commit changes so if you see it moved in x y z direction 10 10 10 this way of setting up data is called local setting so if you notice when I right click on the x coordinate, there is a set number, set multiple number. Set number, multiple number. So 20, 30, 40, 50. As you see in the preview, it made 5 points in 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So we made 5 points by one component by setting up multiple data. So this is all about local setting. Let's see about wired connection. For avoiding confusion, I am deleting this component. Let's see another construct point. It also made preview in 000. Let's bring number slider 10. Left click on the number slide bubble, hold it and drag it to the X coordinate. This is how we can set up the data in wired connection. Same way, left click, hold, drag it. Left click, hold, drag it. So if you see, this also made 10, 10, 10. What is the difference in this? We can change the value very easily. So that's why this is my favorite option. This is called wired connection. Now we will see about setting data from Rhino. So if you see in our last video, we have seen container components. Container components just hold the data. You can find those components in geometry and primitive panels in Prams tab. So let's take point. How to set up this data? So I am adding point in the Rhino environment. Then right click on this point component, set one point, click on this point, boom, that's it. This is connected. This is taking data directly from the Rhino. If you delete that data, it will go away because it is a live connection. So let's see again. Point, right click on this point component, set one point, that's it. Let's see curve. Double click curve. I am drawing the curve in the 3D environment. Set one curve. That's it. If you want to set multiple curves in a one single command, is it possible? Yes, it's possible. See this one. This one. So I am going to again taking another curve. Set multiple curves. Click, click, enter. That's it. It is set. Click on the component. See the preview in green. 
so in this some of the components work little differently if you see let's take circle i'm drawing the circle in rhino and setting up the data from the cycle set one circle if you see i cannot select this circle because the circle command works a little differently you have to draw the circle in rhino after clicking on the component set one circle even rectangle work like this set one rectangle that's it you have to draw the rectangle after you click on the set one rectangle you cannot select the rectangle or circle from the rhino you can draw the circle and rectangle in the rhino these are the ways we can add input data in grasper hope you all understand let's see you on next video bye